Hello everyone, let's do some math. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna start off with this. We're gonna start off by doing one more or one less, then we're gonna move back into our addition, right? We're finishing up this chapter, this chapter three. That's exciting, you guys have been doing a great job. All right, let's take a look at this. So what we find, when you find the number five on this chart, number five, yeah, right there, right? Now, when we say, what is one more than five? You're going to, one more, more means bigger, right? So you're going to get a little bit bigger. One more than five is six. All right, let's go back to that five. What is one less than five then? That would be four. So one more is six, one less is four. Now, find, we're going to go bigger. Go find the number 18. Find 18. You see 18? Right over here. What is one more than 18? It'd be 19, right? What is one less than 18? 17, right? Good. This works with even bigger numbers. Watch, we've been counting all the way to 80 in the mornings. Let's go with one of these numbers. Let's go with number 64. Can you find 64? Okay, now that we found 64, what is one more than 64? Right over, it's 65. What is one less than 64? 63, right? All right, good. That's, that's just a little bit of practice with one more, one less, right? And we can do that even with big numbers, even with the big numbers. We've got it up into 63, 64, and 65. We can do them with all, all the way up to 80. We'll be able to do them all the way up to 119. Yeah, we will very soon. Okay, today we're going to do a little bit more review. So yesterday we spent a lot of time um, reviewing some of the, the different strategies and some of the different problem type problems that we had here. We're going to keep that up. So I'm going to show you a tens frame here. And our tens frame is going to be full. And then we're going to have some of these dots outside. Now, this can be written as a number sentence, right? And what number sentence might you write here? Well, I know that I have a 10. Why don't I start with a 10? And how many am I adding here? 10 plus 3 equals 10, 11, 12, 13. Just like that. All right? I could even, if I had nothing here, there's nothing to add. So we have 10 plus how many? Yeah. 10 plus 0 equals 10. Just like that. All right. Very nice. Now, Sometimes, um, sometimes we have some strategies on here that work for us. Other times we have strategies that, that don't, right? Um, one of the ones that always worked for me was making a 10. Was making a 10. So I would always look, when we're adding three numbers, like say 8 plus 3 plus 2, I always look for two of the numbers, because you have to start with two of the numbers, any two you want. What worked for me is to try to make a 10 because I would find, uh, I would look to see if I could add any of these two numbers together to make a 10 because when I add some more ones to a 10, for me, that makes sense, right? Now, that's for me. Now, it might not for you, but if I was looking at this one, are there any two numbers, or if we were to look at it, are there any two numbers that you can add together to make a 10? You can, right? 8 and 2 make a 10. So I would start from there. I would make that 10, and then I would count on 3 more. 10, 11, 12, 13. And that would give me 13. So I would always look for two numbers that I could add together and make a 10. Right? Okay. Moving on. Let's take a look now at some cubes. 
when we show an, an addition sentence with our cubes, we might show it this way. So I might have three or four. One, two, three, four. And four. One, one, two, three, four. And three. One, two, three. So this is four plus four plus three. Now when I write that, it looks like this. Right here. Four plus four plus three. And if I want to use cubes to help me out with that, I would put them like this. But I would take two of these numbers and put them together first, right? So what two? Maybe I'll just put these two together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have eight plus three. And I add those. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I figure it out with cubes that way. All right? Okay. Now, that's not the only way that I could do that. So first, I did this. The first one I did, I put these together, four plus four, to make an eight. And then I was going to add the three to give me 11. But another way I could do it, if I wanted, because you can start off with any two numbers, is I can start off with these two numbers. 4 plus 3. So I have 4, add 3, 5, 6, 7. Now I add this 4 left over. 4 plus 7 equals, it's going to be the same answer. There's more than one way to do it. If I have three numbers, I can add these two together first and then this one, or I can add these two at the end together and then add the first number. That's up to you, however you feel comfortable doing it, right? And every problem can be different, right? just looking at it. It's up to you, whatever it is that you uh, feel comfortable with, okay? All right, so we have some uh, work to do. We're going to finish up at the end of our book. We're going to finish up right here. On page 147, let's bring it in a little bit, page 147, we're going to start off here up at the top. You're going to match the models to the number sentences. So there's these little blue dots underneath each one. So you're going to find what number sentence matches this. So pretend like these are problems, reds plus yellows, and then draw a line to wherever it matches up. Next, this model here is eight. This is eight plus five. That's what this model shows. Eight plus five. Can you make a ten and show right out that problem here? Make a tens fact if you can. Down here, the same thing. Do any of these? Can you make a ten out of any two of these numbers? If you can, yes. If you can't, no. Do any two of these numbers in this number sentence make, if you add them together, just make a 10? All right. Next. Solve this problem here. We have three and four. All right? This is it. I don't need you to do this. If you want to make the double here, that's fine, but I just want you to solve it. This one, what, uh, there's eight plus seven. Can any of these doubles facts help you solve 8 plus 7? Just color that in. And we're going to do, one of these is going to do a count on two facts. So you're going to add 2 to a number to make 10. So you do the first one. And then the second one, what doubles fact equals 10? What doubles fact equals 10? Okay. Also, go ahead and work on your one-minute math as well. Thank you, boys and girls. Have fun. This is the end of chapter three. You did it. Congratulations. We'll see you next time.